Hi guys, welcome back to the, the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing the Fox Horizon X5S and also the 12,000 XC reel. Um, but before we do that, just like to shout out Snags Warriors on Instagram. Um, they, what they do is help you build your social media presence by um, promoting your posts and tags and also your stories. Um, give them a quick search. The link will be in the description below if you need help building your social media presence. Okay, so let's get straight into them. The Fox Horizon X5S. Delivered in this uh, lovely kind of bag. What it is made of though, it, it almost feels like made, it's made of velvet. And it says on the top what it is and the test curve and the length of the rod. So let's open it up. So as always, I've already taken it out of its plastic bag that it came in. So the first thing you notice when you pull it out is the eye, the Fuji sil um, uh, eyelets. At first I thought it was damaged. However, that's just the way they designed. It was a really unique design. Moving down there, you've got a 1K blank carbon blank, then to the um, scribing on it. As you can see there, it tells you exactly what it is. 12 foot rod, three and, three and a quarter test curve and then down to the Fuji reel seat. Moving on from there, you've got a full shrink wrap handle into like almost a thicker part for where your hands to sit. And then at the end, of, um, the, the butt rest with the Fox sign on there. So yeah, there's not much else to really talk about this apart from um, it's a lot lighter than my previous rods. So I've upgraded to this from uh, Grace Prodigy GT4 50mm butt rings. I thought it was time to upgrade, so I thought I'd go with a Fox Horizon X5S. And a perfect reel for that would be the 12,000 XC. So let's have a look at that. But before we do that, just going to look at the, the other part of the rod. So we'll get the next part out. Bring these two pieces together. And there we have it. Very, very light, well balanced. As it comes together, there's a bit more, uh, the carbon seems to be thicker, so it's layered um, carbon as well. So you can see the difference in the carbon as you get there, where it's a little bit stronger around the joint. And then all the way up the rod, lashings are all almost perfectly aligned and sealed yeah now let's put the reel on and have a look at that so we have it in the box again i have looked at it previously but just to see what was actually inside before i did this video um so yeah all i was going to do lift it up Pull out the bag. The, the, the thing that's left inside is almost like the manual and a couple of washers. So inside the bag you get the reel, the bag, and that is it. You don't get any spare spools with this, but I suppose it's to keep the cost of the reel down. So we'll just move them, little protective things on the reel seat. But I suppose that is to keep the cost down. So with this reel, uh, they're not fold away arms. However, you fold them away just by how you would any other reel. You unscrew it, turn it and screw it back in. So we'll just get that set up. Now it's nice and tight. You can change the arm from left to right or right to left if you want to. But just reeling it now, you can see, I can feel the smoothness of the ball bearings and you can see the etched 12,000 XCs in orange as the as the reel oscillates up and down. Really impressive. So one feature you have got with this is the quick draw. So it's fully locked off now and it'll go one, two turns to fully loose. So one, two back round and again, fully locked off. So with this spool then, holds roughly 
um, 300 meters of line depending on the diameter and it'll stay around the edge so let's just have a quick look so if you've got 0.35 which is most 20 pound mono you can get 350 meters on there if you've got 3.7 you can get 325 meters on and if you've got a 0.4 uh, you can get 290 meters on there so plenty of line held on these uh, big pits big pit reels so now we spoke about that let's get it on the rod and have a look at it So I've just took the top section of the rod off just for now. But yeah, one thing that I have, can feel straight away is it's quite well balanced with this rod in particular. And it doesn't feel too big, the reel, for the rod. It's nice and smooth, really secure to the rod, almost as if it was designed to be on it. Yeah. So let's just have a look at more, a few more features of the reel then. So the gear ratio is a 4-5-1, not too sure what that means, but what I do know is it feels nice and smooth in my hand, so I'm guessing that that's what that is. As you can see, very slow oscillation. The total weight of the um, reel is, is 900 grams, sorry, 610, but I suppose with a bit more line on it, that reel's gonna be a little bit heavier. So yeah, there you have it, the Fox Horizon X5S with a 12,000 XC wheel.